so we are done with types of stories classes and in the previous video i have discussed two question on the stories class technical interview question and this video we'll see three or four more question on stories classes previous year gate question right see this is uh, gate cs 2012 question so this question is containing static uh, stories class two question we'll discuss on external stories class and one on resistance stories class so total four question we are going to discuss in this video and i'll explain what output you will get like a code is given and they they are asking like uh, the output of this code what would be the output of this code so we'll discuss why you are getting that output the reason behind that if you are getting any error why you are getting that kind of error it is a compiler error or uh, is it a linker error everything we'll discuss in this video now let's see the answer of uh, this question see this question i have already discussed in my previous videos when you are using static and static storage class here the answer of this question would be i'm just going to tell you you just you know practice this and see you are getting the same answer or not this would be 4 to then 6 to and 2 0 but one more question was there the code is same but the next question was that was asked in gate cs 2012 like this is this line this is line 1 this is line 2 they have given this line 1 this line 2 and this would be replaced by auto int a is equal to 1 and this was replaced by register int a is equal to 2 now what output you will get when static word was there then this output was there i have discussed already this question but next question is now auto and register now what output you will get see first of all Obviously, when you will run this, control will go to the main function. Here we will see auto int a. So memory would be allocated to this one a, and one would be stored here. Now function would be called here. Now here we have register int a is equal to two. So one more variable a local to this function, and here we have two. Now second b, and here we have one. Now next line is a plus is equal to plus plus b. So it means this line can also be written as a is equal to a plus. Plus plus b, right? So this plus plus is having higher precedence, so this would be executed first. So plus 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 b means b is one. Pre increment means it becomes two now. So two a is two. Two plus two is equal to four. Now a becomes four. Now print what output you will get? First of all four, and b value is two. So four two, right? Now. Back to here after the exit of this function. Now, next line is a plus is equal to one. So it means a is equal to a plus one, right? So now a value becomes two, right? Again, function call. Again, function would be called. Now, register int a is equal to two. Now, this is register variable, right? So it's it's not static. So it would it would be initialized again. The lifetime of this variable is within this block. right till the end of this block only and scope is also within this block right so now again we will initialize this with 2 the previous previous value would be gone and now again it would be initialized with 2 now int b is equal to 1 so again b would be 1 now again this line plus plus b and this thing so now a is 2 and b is plus plus b is 2 Four. So again, four will be printed, and b is also four. Plus plus b, plus plus b. So it becomes uh, two. So b is also two. So four and two. Now exit from this function means back to here. Now here print, again a one print of statement a and b we are going to print. So a and b which are local to this function that would be printed. Now a value is two. So now two would be printed. Now in this function we don't have any b, any local variable b, right? so is it give now will it give error no because we have a global variable b so it will search do we have any global variable b yes we have b so b is equal to 0 now b is equal to 0 so it will print 0 so now at this point of time answer would be 4 2 4 2 and 2 0 if we are using auto and static if here is uh, sorry auto and register if static and static then this output you will get right so this was one question now next question is so these are two more question one is this one is this let me discuss this first we have a global variable int i is equal to 5 so by default this class of this would be extern now in main i have just written extern int j one more variable j and i am printing i and j and after that i am de uh, defining 
int j is equal to 10, 10 a local variable to this main and return 0. Now what output you will get? See, okay, global variable int i is equal to 0. So maybe you will think it will print, okay, 5. Now x turn int j, this line means it's not definition, it's not memory allocation of this uh, j. It is just a declaration of this j. It means this line will tell the compiler, we are using external keyword, this will tell the compiler that j is defined, j has been defined in another block, not within this block, not in this main, outside of this block, where, the, where we are using this extern int j statement, outside of this block j has been defined and we have to use that j, right? j is defined somewhere else, uh, maybe in another file, if you are including any other file, so it will search in that file. If you are not including any other file, like hash include and in double quote that file name, then outside of this block it will search. Now, see, after that, after that we are having, within this block only we are having int j is equal to 10. But <coughs> before this line, we have this line. So it will tell the linker like compiler, it's okay, okay, j has been defined somewhere else outside of this block. It will give this problem to linker to resolve this problem. Like, no, link the value of j here. Linker, but outside of this block, do we have any j? No. So it will give linker error. Undefined reference to this j. We don't have any j outside of this block. It will not access this j because this j is within this block only and after this line, within this block. External means outside of this block, this j must present outside of must be outside of this block. But there is no j, no lo global variable j, so it will give error only, linker error, not compiler error, linker error it will give. I hope you are getting my point. Now same with this, see, just a little bit uh, different from this. In main we have extern int i, printf we are printing i and one more block is there. Here we are taking int i is equal to 10 and again we are printing i and that's it. What it will give? Same first line the compiler will, will see extern int i. It means, we are using extern, it means uh, it will tell the compiler that is, this i has been defined already but outside of this block outside of this block where we are using this statement means outside of this main block. Let's search for that i and I am going to use that i, that value only, this is just a declaration. But now linker will link that thing, but linker will not able to link because outside of this block we don't have any i. Do we have? No. Maybe you will think this is the i in this block, but this block is within this block only, right? So it will no, not go for this value, it will search the value of i which is outside of this block. If you declare here int i is equal to 10, not here, then it's fine because this i is outside of this block where we are using this extern int i. So it will access this 10 at this point of time. So 10 and 10 would be printed, but this time it will give error, linker error, not compiler error, linker error defined reference to this i. Both will give error, right? Now, next uh, question is, so this is the next question. We are using register int data is equal to 10. We are taking a pointer int asterisk pi sum data, initializing it with null. Then address of data we are initializing, we are uh, no, initializing this pointer with address of this data, this variable. Now in this asterisk pi sum data, we are entering a value 5 and then we are printing this is the value using the pointer in direction uh, operator. Now what value you will get here? See here also you will get error. Why so? Because I have already told you when we were discussing register storage class like this is register variable data. So it will be stored not in memory in CPU register. So it is not having any memory location with it. If it is not having any memory location with it then how you can access the address of this variable and store in some pointer. Yes, we cannot access the address. 
because it is being stored in register CPU register not in memory location. So, it will give error like you have requested address of a register variable data and that is wrong right we cannot request address of a register variable only if it is like go to then it is fine it will access it the address because now at this point in time it is auto and it will be in memory stored in memory so it will have some memory location we can fetch that memory location we can store that memory location in that pointer and that is it right but if we have register here then at that point in time it will give error so the assignment for you is now we do not have any register here simple in data is equal to 10 now what output you will get here now this you have to tell me in comment box I hope now you are familiar with the storage classes and what type of questions would be asked in competitive exam and in may be asked in why was right we have discussed almost one one question on every storage class right so now I hope you got all this thing about storage classes and the questions why you are getting that kind of output so now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care